So this was a case of a 12 week old Labrador Retriever who was leaking urine. So let's have a look at some of the ultrasound images we got. So what we found when we were scanning, this is the left kidney. What we've got in this image is the cortex and the medulla. And then we've got the renal pelvis, which is extremely dilated. Because this is a transverse view of the kidney, we can see the ureter coming out, which is severely dilated, and we can follow it along here. The other anechoic tube we have in this, this image is the aorta, and we can see the renal artery popping off the aorta there towards the kidney. So this um, kidney is, is abnormal. We have a dilated renal pelvis and we have a dilated ureter leaving this left kidney. So we were able in this case to follow the um, dilated ureter and find that um, rather than entering the bladder in the trigone area, it entered the urethra. Um, so we had a case of an ectopic ureter and um, in these cases it often leads to a dilated ureter um, and um, dilated renal pelvis as in this case. Of note in this case, because we had such a young animal as well, the lymph nodes are really prominent. So um, these are jejunal lymph nodes. This is one, and then we have another one over here. Um, they're quite long uh, and, and slim, which, which is normal, but um, in young animals, they're very prominent, uh, slightly darker than the surrounding tissue, so they stand out a bit more. They always have a blood vessel running between. Uh, lymph nodes often found in pairs with, with a blood vessel running between them. So this was an ectopic ureter case. It was unilateral. The right side was not affected. The left kidney had a dilated pelvic system um, and the ureter was severely dilated and followed a path down to the urethra.